Julia Yuval. Amanda Kondo. Becky Newton. So women have different life experiences and perspectives to problem solving and decision making processes. We're also great at multitasking and organization. So for example, I was once asked at an interview if I had an experience managing people, which I did not at the time. And after collecting myself and thinking it through, I answered that, hey, I manage three kids and an nanny, which includes three calendars full of kid activities and transportation while making sure that everyone is fed and clean. So that's management and leadership right there. One needs to be really organized to be able to balance multiple responsibilities and priorities. And I think if we bring these qualities of being responsible, of being a multitasker, having those leadership skills, if we bring that um, up from our personal lives to the table here at work, I think we can greatly influence innovation within our fields. I think honestly, women really in nature are more of a, of a relationship type of individual. I think there's a lot of compassion and flexibility and patience that we, I think, naturally have a little bit more than, than men do. And also just being able to really, you know, multitask through our days. Again, I know that everybody can have a lot on their plates, but I think personally from my experience, right, just seeing my girlfriend circle and my network, seeing the amount of workload that my female peers and of course my friends outside of USAA really have been able to, you know, just juggle really well and just being able to maintain a, a great career and, you know, continue to work through those workloads. But I feel like, you know, building and nurturing relationships is really something that you have to be able to do and do well at third party risk management, because there's just a lot of areas where, you know, when you're working with third party suppliers and your business contacts, where you really have to be able to gain the trust of individuals to be able to participate. I know for my own self with my particular group, you know, again, I support the benefits and compensation space, and that's a really very complex space to be in at USAA. Uh, the team is absolutely phenomenal because they're continuing looking at what particular third parties can help bring world-class services um, and benefits to our employees. So for me, it's just really been able to, you know, be able to support being compassionate um, and being patient in that particular space. I think it just really helps to create a really great or an effective work environment. And then, you know, in third party risk management, there are going to come times where you can lean into the relationships that you've done such a good job of building. And so I think for me, it's just been, you know, years and years of seeing what relationships can do, good relationships can do. And then being able to really help your suppliers understand that you're an advocate between not only USAA, but you're also advocating for the suppliers where you need to. We do really well multitasking as, as women. And I think that's an important aspect of third-party risk. I think the other aspect that's really important from a character perspective um, is having an open mind and a willingness to learn new things. So often, I think we think things are going to be a certain way. We talk to a vendor about what they're providing and the services that they're offering and the risks that they expose us to. And we forget to ask them, what would you do? How do you guys handle this? When you look at your third parties, what are the things that you ask of them? If you were in the same space as me, what would you do? Um, I think that's a big piece of really developing the third party risk management function within your company. And then I think honestly within a community, right? Third party risk management community. We need to look for opportunities to learn from each other. We need to look for opportunities of how we do things differently that may improve what we knew in the past.